Hi, and welcome to another Wednesday edition of The Buzz. This is my favorite time of the year, long sleeve shirt and short weather. Now, just trying to figure out a way that I can have my boss let me show a little more skin at work. Don't worry, I have pants on. Enough of that, let's get to my Super 7 buzzes for this week. At number seven, the Wayne State Volleyball Team. Heading into last night's game with Minnesota State, the Wildcats were number three in their conference and number three in the nation. With last night's win, the Wildcats improved to 19 and two overall. Most of you might know that Nicole Bremgart is a graduate of Norfolk Catholic High School, but not many of you know that Lee Connett, Lee Connett's mom is a graduate of Battle Creek High School and her dad is from the Spencer Napier area betting he graduated from Spencer High School. At number six, the Wayne State soccer team. Hey, the Wildcats may be 1-4-4 four and four in the conference, but that one win came Saturday against then leader of the conference, Bemidji State. The Wildcats are now 5-5-4 five, five and four overall this year. Hey, that's a big jump from a program that has won just six games over the past three seasons. Congratulations to second year coach Molly Grisham for having the Wildcats headed in the right direction. At number five, the Norfolk High tennis team. The Panthers recorded the best finish at state under Kelly Kruger's 12, year, 12 years as coach. Their seventh place finish is the best since a 10th place finish back in the year 2000. Members of the team are number one singles Caleb Krakemeyer, number two singles Jackson Kuby, number one doubles Cody Schantz and Eric Buskell, and number two doubles, Ethan Calvert and Drew Dudley. At number four, the Stanton Cross Country Team. Hey, the Stanton girls fielded their first full team this year. And not only did they win districts, but have qualified for state. The boys are just in their second year, and they also qualified three people for state. Way to go, Mustangs. At number three, the Norfolk High Girls Cross Country Team. Last week, the Panthers won the Class A2 district at Skyview Lake, finishing among the top 10, where Melissa Park's first, Jordan Copper fourth, Emily Cone fifth, Stephanie Park seventh, and Mar Mar Marissa Moore ninth. The Panthers will be the two-time defending champions when they hit the Carney Golf, Golf Club course on Friday. At number two, Andrea Weeder of Lindsay Holy Family. This junior won her district and will now try to become just the seventh Three-time girls state champion in state history. Good luck, Andrea. At number one, the Crofton girls cross country team. Crofton won their district and will now be gunning for a state record 14th state cross country title, most in Nebraska history. Currently, they're tied at 13 with Lincoln Northeast. So go get them, Crofton. Bring us back that 14th state title. Hey, be sure to check out Tom Beamer's Thursday edition of The Buzz well, he'll, he'll run down his latest top 10 football polls. For NorfolkDailyNews.com, I'm Jay Priner.